Hi, I'm James. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Dragwin. Now, this is the second attempt at recording this video. Um, I recorded it last week when the uh, the snakes had, had finally shed. They had that first shed and they were looking really, uh, really great. I came to edit it last night and I found that uh, I hadn't turned my microphone on. So, fantastic. I looked at uh, voicing over on it to, uh, to try and use it, but it just wasn't the same. So... Uh, I might use it for some stills or something like that in the future, but uh, it was pretty much bust. So uh, here's a a newer version of it. The uh, the hatchlings are um, a little bit older now. Uh, as I've said, they had their first shed. Some of them have had their first meal. Uh, some of them are going to be fed again tonight. So uh, before I get uh, get into feeding, I wanted to uh, to do a, a bit of a show and tell with you. Um, I'll show you the uh, the adults as well from the pairing, the uh, the male Mojave and the female Pinstripe Leopard, so uh, so you can uh, get an idea from uh, from them as to uh, what the uh, the babies will look like when they when they grow on. So uh, without further ado, let's get into the snake, shall we? So this is the uh, the adult Mojave. This is Mo. Um, he is the sire to the uh, to the clutch that uh, that we've seen cut, and uh, we're going to see the hatchlings of. Unlike the Mojave's in the in the clutch, you can see because he's a bit older that he's not as bright. All his dorsals are very brown rather than gold or yellow. His belly's still very clear though. Um, he's got some nice uh, nice flaming up the sides. The very uh, well tempered uh, snake. He uh, doesn't really hiss. Doesn't really uh, strike at anything. We did have some feeding issues with him back in November. He didn't eat until uh, start of June. Um, but uh, yeah, he's back on food now, which is which is good. Let's hopefully get some of that uh, that weight back up. He did lose a little bit of weight, a couple of hundred kilograms while breeding, but uh, he's a he's a machine. He just wants to get out and and meet all the females. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see some of his babies in a minute, but uh, we'll get the uh, the female out now. So this is Pumira. She's a leopard pinstripe. She's the uh, the dam to the uh, to the clutch. Uh, there is another one like her, a little clone, another female leopard pinstripe. Now she's sort of a, a tan to uh, to green colour, and I don't know if the camera picks it all very well. She looks very brown on the uh, on the video there, but she's uh, got a, a green hue to it. It's very dark down the sides, um, a relatively clean belly, some little uh, spotting down the outside. Again, reasonably well um, tempered. Not really ever struck struck at me for for any any other reason um, than for for feeding. Uh, really really uh, nice uh, snake. She's an escape artist. She did uh, escape at, uh, at Christmas, so I was a little bit concerned that uh, the eggs wouldn't make it. But as we've seen, we've had uh, eight uh, eggs there go full term and hatch and be uh, be all good. There was one slug in the um, in the clutch. So if I can just get her up to the camera, see if it will focus in on her. There we go. And I put her back and uh, we'll get some of the, uh, the hatchlings out. Okay, so the first hatchling we're going to look at today is uh, one of the, the normals. This is a male. This clutch was very female heavy. We had three males in the, in the clutch of, egg, of eight eggs. Uh, really nice uh, salmon colours in, uh, in the sides there. Very normal looking uh, busy belly. And... Uh, quite light compared to uh, the colours of uh, of his brother um, this one's not eaten yet but hopefully we'll uh, we'll eat tonight so uh, yeah fantastic uh, looking snake onto the second male this one's uh, a little bit darker a little bit more intense colours there's a lot more blushing along the dorsal stripe there uh, this one has eaten as you can see the uh, the way that they uh, they bulk up so quickly is amazing it's uh, look how thick that body is now compared to, uh, to the one we've just seen a uh, slightly lighter head, but uh, more more intense colouring. Again, another another male. Just a just a nice looking normal. Nothing uh, nothing groundbreaking, nothing uh, overly exciting, but uh, still quality uh, quality snake. So now we have the uh, the little clone of mum. This is the leopard pinstripe female. Um, coloration's a lot lighter. She was much much more green when uh, when she hatched but uh, it's looking a, a little bit tan colored there lovely uh, flying v there on her on her nose and a, and a lambda stamp there cleanish belly these little pixelations down the side uh, she's not eaten yet hopefully she'll eat uh, this evening 
in the next couple of days for us. That'd be great. But uh, stunning. This one is uh, is on hold. It has been uh, called for. But uh, if you're interested in anything else that you see in the video, then do uh, leave a comment or reach out to me and uh, and let me know, and we'll sort something out. Okay, so we have the dynamic duo here. We have a female jigsaw on my uh, on the left of the screen here. She, you see, she's uh, quite thick bellied, uh, whereas the male who hasn't eaten yet is uh, is still rather thin. Uh, fantastic looking uh, looking snakes. I'm not a massive fan of pinstripe, to be fair. I think on its own as a standalone gene, it's nothing uh, to write home about. But as soon as you start mixing it with the combos, um, it looks fantastic. And I think I'd be keeping both of these if uh, if it wasn't for the civet that uh, that we did produce. Now, uh, oh, don't you be escaping off there. Um, both of these are, are available, same male and female. And uh, yeah, fantastic, pretty, pretty snake. Okay, so we'll go for a duo again. We've got the, the Mojave here on the right and the Leopard Mojave here on the left. And you see that head stamp on the top, how, uh, how much more deep the colours are. Uh, the Leopard has, uh, has eaten, as you can see in the, in the body size there. She's uh, a fair chunk of a, of a little hatchling now, just after one feed. Uh, the female uh, Mojave, some really nice uh, blushing along the sides. Uh, great looking uh, looking snake. I just uh, turn these over. See clean, uh, clear bellies there. The uh, the leopard Mojave will be uh, will be staying here with me, but the uh, the Mojave female will be available if anybody is interested. Stunning uh, V there, a bit like a uh, a catapult on the on the head there. I don't know if we can quite quite see it. The uh, the Y shape. Very very nice. What I was aiming for with the uh, with the pairing is the civet leopard jigsaw or leopard Mojave pinstripe, and uh, she's also had her first meal, and uh, stunning. Yeah, the sides there very similar to the uh, the leopard pinstripe, but not quite. And then the dorsal is the is what you see on the jigsaw, but um, you haven't got those uh, Mojave alien heads. Really, really nice, uh, nice looking snake. Fantastic uh, markings down the neck there, speckling. And this female will be will be staying here for future projects. I don't know what uh, what's planned for her, um, but uh, she's definitely staying here. Awesome, awesome snake. So some awesome hatchlings there. Really happy with how they're coming along. They're all back in here now, back in their uh, their, their tubs. So hopefully some of them will feed tonight for us and. Uh, grow up to be some some really impressive uh, snakes you know they're not they're not world breaking um, they're not going to uh, change the game for for ball pythons but uh, they're quality uh, good looking healthy snakes and and that's what I'm uh, I'm aiming for and uh, I'm over the moon with uh, with the civet I really uh, I really can't sing my uh, my praises of that snake enough so uh, so happy that, uh, that we hit it so uh, if you like the video make sure that you share that you like the video, that you subscribe, you hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know what you thought of the uh, the snakes. Where would you go with the civet? What would you do with it? Um, what genes would you think would look uh, would look really good uh, in there? So uh, until next time, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.